There's a simple little oil painting I'm sure you'll all enjoy. I've taken a black gesso canvas and I've coated it in varying colours of oil paint. I've used Indian yellow, Elizabeth crimson and thalo blue. Now on the top two thirds of the canvas I've taken white paint and I've just whisked in some nice little cloudy shapes. Very loose. And then on the bottom third just some straight flat strokes all the way across covering that transparent colour. With a clean dry brush just blend all these colours together and then go back and add some stronger clouds if you so wish. On a large rounded uh, brush all we're going to add now is some sap green and burnt umber just mixed in various proportions and tap it across that horizon line. That horizon line again is two thirds of the way down from the top of the canvas. Go all the way across creating some nice little tree shapes and add in some trunks as well. Either scratch them in with a palette knife or paint them in. Now let's add some flavour to these trees. I'm using mixtures of Prussian blue and white. I'm going to use some green colours, I'm going to go some red colours, some pink colours, I'm just picking out some highlights on these far away trees and of course I'm going to pull some of those reflections down into the water as well. Go backwards and forwards with colour, don't forget we need dark to show light and light to show dark need contrast so let's work on that Okay, with a palette knife, all I'm doing is taking some umber and Van Dyke brown and I'm just putting some dirt up here for these for these trees to sit on. What we're going to do is put a little bit of highlight on top of this dirt as well and reflect that into the lake below. With some thin white oil paint and the palette knife, cut in a nice little waterline, separating the two dark colours. Remember to keep your palette knife perfectly flat and parallel to the base of the composition. Add some foliage to the foreground. And a nice little tree. Remember to work on highlights and shadows as well. Using a lighter green colour, add some highlights to the, uh, to the leaves on the trees and on the grasses in the foreground.
Moment of truth time. Let's remove all this masking tape and all this tissue to reveal a nice pre-painted border. These little canvases do make fantastic gifts for family and friends. And if you give this painting a go, please tag me in a picture. I'd love to see what you're doing. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel. Happy days.